So for this picture wall hanging, you require a basic cardstock. I have this book. But if you don't have, no need to worry. You can buy these sheets from any of the stationery shops. Just make sure they are a bit thick. Or you could use these. These are jute sheets and they are very uh, colorful and it gives a nice texture if you use them. Otherwise, this shiny rubber sheet would also do. So any craft store near your house, just visit and randomly pick anything you like I'm using this cardboard I've just cut it out of an Amazon box no need to worry about the dimensions and for additional texturing and everything I have this a notebook of uh, printed sheets but not all of you may have it so it's okay if you don't have it um, I guess I'll not use it today so apart from that you can use laces some decorative items like chipboards and flowers and scissor as usual you can use this super glue or fevicol but I guess uh, today I'll stick with a super glue yes I will hmm. so next we'll be requiring a scale and a pencil the basic needs <laughs> right and uh, yeah two-sided tape this would do why two-sided tapes I would tell you later and along with it this velcro strip I'll use that later hmm. so now let's begin so I'm taking this cardstock and chill and these die die cut die cut stencils should I use this or this mm. no I, I'm, I, I guess I'll just stick with the small polka dot sheet yeah and I'm using this die cut sten stencil yeah so if you have a big shot it's really easy to cut with these stencils but if you don't have then what you can do is you can simply choose your cardstock yeah and place the stencil behind the cardstock and trace it along like this after tracing you will have a design like this then I'm taking the next size of the stencil and placing it yeah like this and like I did before I would just draw and trace the design yeah I'm done so this is how it looks I'm sorry I'm using pencil so it's not very visible I guess next you could just cut it but since I have a big shot to do it I need not go through all this process so I'll not be doing it I have already got a frame cut see this is how it looks yeah this was the original cardstock so you can see
you can even use uh, these these are really helpful they give a neater result now our frame is ready and now we'll do the layering so i'm gonna stick this cardboard to this jute sheet and begin with my layering work uh, the jute sheet is for the front and the cardstock is for the back so that the back also does not look so ugly so i'm placing i'm trying to place things arrange things and see how i should get the design i'm just playing around randomly placing things Mm. Yeah, these are the chipboards that I got from a store called Itsy Bitsy. Yeah, I'm a bit messy. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So these are readily available in any of the craft store. this looks pretty I guess flowers 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 are my favorite so let's decorate with these mm. before that I'll I have placed a picture of my sister from her childhood days and I'm just fastening them with these two sided tapes. Yeah. Sorry for the hair in between. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I'll just check yes i've got it perfectly placed in its position now i'll just remove the paper over the two-sided tape and i'm ready to stick it over the tube sheet like this yeah done now we'll put some flowers to make it pretty like this and some leaves and they come really cheap you know if you visit any of the stores otherwise you can if you are a creative person you can just make it at home too they are very simple so if any of you would like to know how it's made do let me know I would give a tutorial on this as well so I just bought them but they are really simple to make I just bought them because they were on sale and I didn't have time to make anything so I just bought them but they are really easy to make what should I do with these butterfly? Mm. Hmm. Yes, one here, one here. Da. Nah. Mm. I guess I'll put one on the top. And one here. Yes. And I've stuck this together forever chipboard and I'll please some small embellishments here and there yeah this is the final product I've decorated it with the white lace all around and I've stuck all the pieces together 
and just look at it perfect to be hung on your perfect little wall i think it has come out pretty well it looks pretty what do you think so if you guys like this and if you guys need more such creative ideas to decorate your house and yeah you can see this uh brown cardboard that we used behind yeah i was saying that if you like it then please let me know so next i was telling you about this velcro strip and the two sided tape story yeah now most of us live in rented house and we are not supposed to nail down the owner's wall so one of the easiest method is use velcro and two sided tapes what you can do is stick one a uh, part on to your uh, picture yeah and the other one to the wall and just hang it look 